Hey. So we're here to celebrate British Science Week. I'm John Overington. I'm CIO here at the uh, Medicines Discovery Catapult. So I, I'm Peter Simpson. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer. And I guess I'm going to ask you some questions. You guys are going to um, ask me some questions. So we'll hopefully have an interesting discussion around you know, why we're here, what we're doing, and, and, and where we're going. What encouraged you to go into science? So what inspired you to get into science? Well, it, it, um, so I really liked as, as a kid, I, I, I just love sorting things, you know, my, you know, just organizing stuff. So I, I guess when I look back as a teenager, I think I would always have gone into science because that's kind of how my mind works. I mean, everybody in my family who ever went to university has done either physics or maths or statistics. So they're like that. As I got older, I started to get really interested in nature and, and then started to get fascinated by the patterns and the similarities across organisms and, and things. So I, you know, I'm a crazy naturalist, you know, bird watcher, mushrooms and everything. And, and yeah, the love for science really came from, from just you know, the natural world and, and knowing that there's like some wiring under the boards that organizes it, some grand organizational framework that, that you, know, you can start to get deeper insights into the world. And when I look back at why I went into this part of science, I, I remember very distinctly one of our close family friends got an incurable disease. He got Huntington's disease. I remember thinking as a teenager, well, how could it be that now that the best we can do for that is nothing? There's still no drug for it. We still didn't, at the time, didn't really understand how that disease worked. How could we be here in the late 20th century and still have diseases that we have just no idea what to do about? I think that, that triggered me to go, well, that's both horrible but also exciting because that means that somebody's going to have to solve that. Um, so what would your words of advice be for anyone who wants to go into science? What are your experiences? What kind of tips do you have for us as early stage researchers? The, I, well, I, th I think since, since my day, the 70s and, 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 and 80s, the, things have really changed. You know, the, 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 there's less to discover. You know, there's been huge advances in investment. And, and I think um, the, the, the sort of idea that you can really discover things on your own in isolation has, has, has changed a lot. But it hasn't changed because we've solved all of the problems. If anything, it's, it's, it's changed because some of those problems are really sticky problems to solve. You know, science is now a lot more about teamwork. So I think collaboration, cooperation, yeah, finding and, and understanding each other's uh, strengths and, and weaknesses and just being you know, a good team player. Finding something that gets you up in the morning, I think, is the biggest challenge. The reason to do it is because you know you're doing something that genuinely you care about. That this is it's exciting to you. You see the point of it. Never stop reading as well. So you know the the, the science is all around us, um, and and I think one of the most potent things is, is where you can find you know the footprints of the work or, or, or imprints of the work that you do in everyday life. And I think genuinely you know that's the opportunity in science is to make a difference, whether it's a, a better airplane or a better drug. But doing something that you personally care about is the satisfaction. Yeah, programming um, is going to become an essential skill in data analysis and so forth, regardless of whether it's you know, images or, or you know, spreadsheets and numbers or you know, counts of atom decays or something. You know, it's just numbers and, and maths are behind everything. Why have you started off as a medicines discovery researcher? What, what's your excitement for that? What, what excites you about? the future fit for you in this field? There's, in science, there's a lot of um, abstract thinking about a problem. And I think at some point as well, we need to try and do something with that. I think with Medicines Discovery, we are able to implement these innovations we've had, these intellectual uh, steps that we've made, and actually implement that to, uh, to improve general health. Uh, I think some of the technology that's coming out nowadays is really amazing, especially in terms of automation and multiplexing. Um, we can look at hundreds or thousands of different markets at once where before we could only look at one or two. I love cell imaging, so being here and being able to use all the microscopes is amazing, but seeing all the different complex models that people are trying to develop and all the interesting ways to do the analysis and how to really use creativity to like model diseases in a different way that's more relevant and will help. Drug discovery has been really exciting, so I'm excited to see what other models can come from that in the future. I was most interested in helping patients, which is why Medicines Discovery Catapult is a really good place to work because you're not just helping one company or one academic lab, you've got that collaboration there where you can join lots of people and you can push Medicines Discovery in, in all fields. 
Okay then, just to finish off, we're going to do a quick fire round. Excellent. So, And what I'm going to do is say a word and you've got to respond with the first thing that comes to your head. Science. Curiosity. Yeah, discovery. Yeah, the, the, yeah discovery. Drugs. Medicines. It's cures. Future. Exciting. Yeah, I, I think unknown. Collaboration. Working together to make things happen. Big data. Yes, I, I, I want to think complexity, I guess. Innovation. The future. <laughs> Artificial intelligence. The future.